we are supposed to find angle STO. STO. This angle over here. Now, before we can find this angle, we need to know this whole angle, which is equal to this whole angle. Because this is radius, another radius. So this is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle. And before we can find this, two angles we need to know the center angle over here now we know that this this is an angle subtended by chord rt at the center and this same chord subtends angle 46 at the circumference so angle at the center which is angle rot angle rot is equal to 2 times 46 2 times 46 degrees and this is equal to 92 degrees 92 degrees so now that we know this angle is 92 92 we need to subtract this from 180 which will give us 88 so each of these angles are 44 each so this is 44 and this whole angle is also 44 44 degrees now if this whole angle is 44 and from here to this side is 29 then angle SOT angle angle SOT is equal to 44 44 minus 29 and this will give us 15 degrees and the answer for 19 is B then they say in the diagram XY is a straight line and we know that some of angles on a straight line should add up to 180 hence we have angle POX angle POX plus angle POQ angle POQ angle POQ then plus angle angle R O Y is an angle then plus angle plus angle Q plus angle Q O R now there's a condition given to us that angle POX is equal to angle POQ. So whenever we see angle POX, we can put angle POQ. So I'm going to put over here angle POQ. Angle POQ. Plus another angle POQ. Another angle POQ. POQ. Then Another condition is that angle ROY is equal to angle QOR. So whenever I see QOR, I can put angle ROY over there. So plus angle ROY. Now this whole thing should give us 180, 180 degrees, 180 degrees. Then this one should give us 180 degrees now this time this will give us twice of that so 2 times angle POQ 2 times angle POQ POQ plus 2 times angle ROY ROY should be equal to 180 degrees now dividing through by 2 we get angle POQ angle POQ plus angle ROY angle ROY to be equal to 90 degrees hence the answer is B and the last one over here you have to find angle ZWX, ZWX, which is this whole angle over here. 
now before that you need to know you are given that angle z y w z y w is 33 so this angle is 33 degrees now if this is 33 degrees this angle is sitting on wz and wz is having another angle over here on the circumference so angles in the same segment are equal so this is also 33 degrees now this is 90 degrees because this is a diameter hence this whole angle over here this whole angle over here is 90 90 minus 33 degrees which will give us 57 degrees hence angle ZWX ZWX is equal to 56 57 degrees and the answer is B so is it B throughout? ah B throughout if you choose B throughout then I have chopped a lot of